Back here in Blue Point tonight, the community is rallying around Gabby's family and friends as it remembers and honors the 22 year old. There's a sense of sadness here, of course, but humility too. This is a community thrust into the national spotlight, a place it would rather not be, not for a tragedy like this. There are ribbons on telephone poles and trees, even outside of Gabby's old high school, the Blue Point Fire Department as well. Again, just a simple gesture to honor Gabby's memory. The American flag flies at half staff outside the community library. Joining us now is Brookhaven Town Councilman Neil Foley. The councilman represents this area. He also lives here. Councilman, thank you for joining us on what is a very difficult time. Tell us how your community is feeling tonight. It's been a rough couple of weeks. Um, Bayport Blue Point is, uh, has two towns, but it's a special community. And when something like this happens, we step up. We step up in many ways. We help the family financially, um, with food, emotionally, and that's what we do here. Councilman, you know Gabby's family. You know her mother. You know her stepfather. Uh, it seems almost, you know, not right to ask how they're doing. We know how they're doing, but considering all of this, have you heard from them? Have you spoken to them? Not you? directly. Uh, indirectly, uh, I'm a father of four. Uh, I, I have no words for them in a sense what they're going through it's got to be so difficult every single day but what we do here in Blue Point is we step up and we will support the family in any way we can.